Hi guys, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. One of our members at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook had asked how to make this. So I'm going to go through and show you. Okay, I just clicked the text. And this is the regular old Arial font. So I type it all up here. Go to my selection tool. Object. Ungroup. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take and put all these letters together so that they touch um, because you're going to union them so that they're all stuck together. And I think that one needs to go a little more. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these positioned so that they can be welded together or union together is what we do here in SCAL. Alright, so I have them all touching. Okay, I think so. Yep, they look to be all touching. So I'm going to come up here. Actually, no, I'm going to do this one at a time. And I do it one at a time so that I can come in here and um, ungroup these two um, and center them. And if you put this all together and you do a union, you're going to have to go in and hit break apart and that kind of messes up your uh, letters. Sometimes it'll turn them like all black inside. So let's union this one and we'll come up here and union this one okay so now they're all together and click to page in the center no come on and we're going to center this one all right now I grab this top arrow and I'm going to drag it up like that to where they're touching. I'm going to bump it up, nudge it just a little bit. Okay, so now that's even that way, but what I want to do is bring it over here and get it so that the U is completely touching the K, and I want to bring the Y to try to get it to touch the T. Alright, so that's not going to work. I'm going to back this up a little bit and bring this over because I want the, the Y to touch the T and then I also want the U to grab the K. Alright, so let's take it, nudge it up a little bit more. Okay, click off of it over here and that looks pretty good. So we're going to highlight it all right now and we're going to union it all right, that looks good. So let's stretch it out here and see what we have. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's go in and make it a little fatter. Come over here to the wrench, to the shadow part, and we're going to go shadow straight. And wait for that to start working. Okay, so it finally popped up. And we'll increase it a little bit to make them a little, little thicker. And as you can see, my scale has been acting up a little bit lately. All right, so 0.15 inches seems to be what I want, what I like. All right, so now we want to get this background like this. Well, you can't use this shadow. So what we're going to have to do when Scale decides it's going to respond is we'll come up here to the Effects button. Okay, so let's come up here to the Effects. And we're going to click Shadow Layer. And we want to click Blackout. Alright, and we're going to increase this until the line in here fills in. Okay. So that's what we want right there. So we're going to click OK. And then I come over here and grab the brush. Oops, hang on. I got to get this off of here first. Because I don't want to brush into that. And you know what? No, let's just grab that. And I'm going to do my best to fill in these little crevices here. 
Okay. Oops. No problem if you do that. You can go back in and hit the eraser. Okay, so let's come up here and we're going to highlight, select everything. Click Path, Union. And that will meld it all together. And then you can come up here with the eraser so you can grab your eraser. Um, along as straight as you can. But you know what? If this doesn't uh, do what you want it to do or you don't want to mess with the eraser, um, what you can do is you can actually just leave it alone because when you go to make a card, you're going to put this part up here above the card fold so that when it cuts, when the little cutter comes around here like this, it misses the actual card. All right, because you don't want to cut that away from the seam of the card because then it'll just be in two places. So your card will actually sit right under there. Okay, so let me see if I can fix this. Oops, I want to do this. Keep. So let's try this again. But, you know, like I said, you don't really have to worry about it because it's not going to be cut anyhow um, when you go to make a card. There, that looks pretty decent. Okay, so now what we want is we want a um, triangle so I can show you what I mean with the card. Alright, so when you go to cut your card, let me actually pull this out here because we will actually need to use this. Here. Okay, so let's come up here, object, arrange, oops, you want to send to the back. Alright, so that brings this up. When you go to um, make your card, you're going to position your cut file over the card just like that. You see where the card seam is? Because you don't want to cut that. So that's how you position your folded card is the seam will lay right underneath there. Alright, so let's get busy here. Let me position this. Okay, so you can position a, like a folded piece of paper. If you have a card, you're done already. Um, you can go in and save these in two cut files, but if you need to cut your card, and you need to cut it into this shape, I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So you're going to lay your folded paper, okay, pretend that this rectangle here is a folded piece of paper. You're going to lay that just like that part, okay, when you go to cut your file. Alright, All right. so come up here, and this will be the intersection. And what that does is it keeps everything that's intersected with the top part, it will keep all of that. All right. Okay, so now what I do, if I want to make this a card, okay, actually in my file, I want a card cut file in my file here. You can drag this down. We're going to click Object, Duplicate, and we'll just put it to the side here so I can grab it. Okay, so I'm going to bring this up here. I come to Object, transform we're going to flip vertical okay so now that is a mirrored image top and bottom but it's upside down so that we can do this what we're going to do is we're going to join these two we're going to union them so that it actually becomes a card all right so i want to actually use these keys right here the nudge buttons so I can see as soon as it joins. Okay, so that is joined. Now I'm going to come up here, highlight everything, path, oh, union. Oh, so it didn't go all the way, so I need to undo that and bring them a little closer. Okay, so let's nudge it a little bit more. 
There we go. All right, so let's see if that works. It should. Okay, path union. Okay, so there is your card. And while it's up here, you can click the center. And if you want to come to the, um, your, your, uh, thing here, you can actually, you know, uh, dot in a score line or you can use that tool that I made um, that will score it for you or you can just use your bone folder and fold it yourself however you choose to do it okay so then you can put your word when you get it all done on top and then this will be your fold line right across because you can take it right across the center here to make your fold line and you are all done alright guys thanks a lot if you have any questions let me know